Check it out. So they just opened up this new place called the Three, I think it's called the Three Creeks Confluence. This is where like, there used to be a, just an abandoned road here. And so they tore it out. Turns out that three different creeks come together here and they've always been there, but uh, they were under the roads. So they ripped the roads out and they opened up the, the rivers. So now this is where, like, I think it's called like Red Butte something, the Jordan River immigration, or Parley's whatever. All those things come connect right over here, right over there on the other side of that bridge. And they say you can fish here. Just had the grand opening like two days ago, or yesterday maybe. And uh, we're gonna check it out, see how the fishing is, see if maybe we can catch a catfish or a trout, something other than carp, because we're tired of catching carp at Liberty Park. So hopefully we can catch something here today. And we got a lunchbox, so if it's a little trout or something, we'll eat it. Stepping logs, some little areas where you could set up. Maybe they'll put picnic tables over there eventually or something. Have like a little picnic. We got multiple bridges. We got a bridge here. Oh, I see a fish right there, Shane. I just saw bubbles and then I saw a shadow. Pulled up. Let me put on these polarized boys. Got the new. Got the new polarized shades. Now we can see through the water. Because before we couldn't see through water. I saw some bubbles there. Yeah, this might be a good spot actually, Shane. It's all brand new. Brand new mulch. Brand new wood. Brand new plants. Smells nice. I like how they got that all cleared out so you can fish all along there. So I think that is where it goes into the Jordan River, maybe. <clears throat> oh nice, you can walk down this. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to like see some fish, I'm trying to use my eyes to see some fish. I see these dark spots, but they're not fish. Those are like just weeds. And then we got a little bike trail here. Yeah, here's the sign, Three Creeks. I gotta watch my pulse and nobody takes it, but. So I asked on the Facebook post about this place opening if we're allowed to fish here. And <laughs> somebody commented, they said, uh, you fishing for carp, catfish, or bodies? Because the, you know, the, the local legend, the joke here in Salt Lake is that there's a lot of bodies in the Jordan River. They're always finding bodies in the Jordan River. And I know one of these streams is probably heavy carp, one of these streams is heavy catfish, one of these streams is heavy bodies. <laughs> so hopefully we don't catch no bodies. But I'm not seeing with my eyes many fish. This whole spot looks pretty cool, so. There's a little tour, now let's see if we can catch something. All right, I'm kind of excited. Not because we caught a fish, but this tree. You see this tree? You see this river? That's the type of thing that gets me excited. <laughs> I'm really tempted to, uh, to bring a bathing suit out here and depth check this water, because if, um, Let's see, right about there, if it's at least six feet deep, five feet deep, you could definitely jump out of that into there. And uh, I could get up there pretty easily. Makes me excited.
Let's try to catch some fish. We gotta get some fish, baby. I'm gonna go over here because it's a little shadier. So for his birthday, Shane got a new net. So now we don't have to break our line when we go carp fishing for giant carp. I don't know if we're gonna need that here. We got us some catfish bait, chicken and blood. If this video gets 20 likes, me and Shane will eat a piece of this stuff for the, for the content. For the content, baby, chicken, blood, catfish food. We'll eat it. We get, we get. Uh, how many likes, Shane? How many likes? We need a uh, hundred likes. I don't have very many videos with a hundred likes. I got a couple, but Shane says a hundred likes. So a hundred likes, and we eat some catfish blood food. Oh, it stinks so bad, dude. Well, we caught a trout, not with a pole. I caught him by hand. He was swimming up by the rocks and uh, he just kept coming up to the rocks and just chilling there. I think he's dying anyway, yeah. probably from like the construction or something, but Shane says it's a brook trout. I think so. Or it's a but I just reached in the water and grabbed him with my hands. Yeah. yeah I guess just throw him in. He's going to die. Yeah. He'd probably be good bait for a catfish. But we do know there's trout in here now. Yeah, he's, he's dying anyway, like, he, I just saw him chilling, like, by the edge, by a rock, just sitting there, and I got right down by the water and grabbed him, but he got away, he swam away, and then he came back and just chilled there, and he was gasping, and he wasn't moving, so I grabbed him out of the water, his eyes are, like, blood red, it's weird. Yeah, he's gonna die. Can we eat him? I want to. Make it two uh, fish sticks? Two fish sticks? <laughs> no, I don't want to eat him. You don't want to eat him? Eight? No. What do you well, want to do with him? He's going to die. Throw him back in the water. Let him die. Okay. We didn't kill him. We didn't hurt him, but we he was dying anyway, but we grabbed him. He didn't do nothing. Yeah, plus he fell in the rocks. You can pull him out of the water. Let's use him for bait or something. Just punk his head on a rock. He did. He did. He did. Well, first ever trout that I caught, he was dying of natural causes. I caught him with my bare hand. Yep. And uh, we're going to eat him. <laughs> Rainbow trout. Little pink line right here. I thought you said it was a brook trout. Well, I couldn't see the pink line until I saw this side because... Oh, yeah, there's pink right there. Well, either way, we're going to throw him in the cooler. We already conked him out. And uh, just going to eat him. We're just going to gut him and throw him on a, on a... Well, we're out of gas for the grill. So we're just going to throw him on the fryer and see what he tastes like. <laughs> Not letting him go to waste, that's for sure. First day, opening day pretty much, at uh, Three Rivers Cons Conserve... I don't remember what, the, what this place is called. I'll look it up and put it in text or something but first day here we caught a fish with my bare hand he was dying which isn't a good sign <laughs> but at least we know there's trout in here so it's kind of interesting uh, I was standing right here fishing and Shane's like look a catfish and there was a catfish swimming slowly right by here he was about probably eight or nine inches long and so I have catfish bait on I'm rigged up for catfish because that's what I was expecting out here and uh, I just dragged my bread in front of his face and he wasn't, he was not having, I could have grabbed him with my hands too if I would have hopped in the water. So I'm thinking because of either maybe chemicals they put in the water or all the construction they've been doing in this area, because this is all brand new, just opened, a lot of construction. Uh, maybe the fish are like, that's why they seem so lackadaisical and so sick, because this guy was barely moving. I could have, I could have just jumped in the water and grabbed him and I had my, it might not, but there's a little fish that's perfectly fine right here. I had catfish bait hanging right in front of their face and they weren't eating it. And now we also notice something else. There's dead crawdads all up in here. So that's a dead crawdad right there. There's another dead crawdad right there. There's another dead one right there. So either the construction or something in the water, there's another one right over there. 
has uh, has affected it. So there's it's going to take a little while before this area gets back to normal. But we do have proof there are catfish, and trout, trout, and crawdads in here. So probably once they uh, they're probably freaked out because of all the stuff that's been going on here lately. But it'll get back to normal hopefully soon. There's another dead crawdad. We found a snake. Eating something. I got stuck. Are you gonna grab him? You don't even know if he's poisonous. You know. Oh, he's pretty long. What's he eating? I got a fish. He got a bent, a little minnow. Ah! <laughs> he just jumps off the rock. Come here, snake. Oh, he gone. He gone. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's gone. Dang. So we found a trout, a catfish, a snake, a bunch of dead crawdads. This spot's pretty cool so far. Come here, snake. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I guess they don't have water moccasins out here, huh? No, just bird snakes usually. I think there's a little... Unless you go out and... Well, sometimes you'll see a rat. Oh, what is that thing? We found another bigger snake. Uh, you are... Yeah, he's trying to hide under a rock right now. Or he's chasing the fish. Oh, he's coming up the rock. Oh, there he is. Scare me. Yeah, that's the same kind of snake. It's just bigger. Yeah, that's garbage snake. It's probably about as big as they get. Grab him. Yeah. You won't. Oh, he gone. Ah, he's coming after me. <laughs> no, as I said, they're more afraid of you than. I want to catch him. Steak, though. I want to catch him, but I got a fishing pole in my hand. And a phone. Oh, coming up. Coming up. Dude, we've seen snakes up. Oh, I just saw a fish underwater, or that was the snake. Where? I just saw something jet that way underwater. Something white. That was not the snake. The snake's right here. Yeah, I see him. He's right here. He gonna bite you, man. No. If they do bite, it doesn't hurt. Oh, yeah, he is up under there. Way in the back right there. This place is pretty sick. Now we just gotta find the right time for the fish. Well, we didn't officially catch any fish. We've been here for like four hours. But we did find a beaver. This guy's been swimming all around. Little beaver in the water. We're gonna go home and cook up this uh, this little trout that I caught by hand, but we didn't. We tried a uh, power bait with treble hooks. We tried catfish bait with catfish hooks. We tried bread for carp. We tried mealworms, and we did not catch anything on our hooks. But I did catch that little trout by hand, so we're gonna go home and taste him out. Look at the little beaver. We did see a bunch of snakes and beavers though, that was pretty cool. All right guys, we had a nice little fishing trip. We're back home now. We got our little trout gutted. These little guys gutted out. Yeah buddy, we got a little fish stick right here. Just gonna see what this trout Tastes like from this lake. River. River, I mean. Got some UFC on tonight. So we're gonna uh, cook this guy up. I'll show you when it's done and then that'll be the end of the video. And we'll say goodbye to you guys while we eat this trout. What's up with the stream? What's up with the stream? Come on, Dana. Let us. What? I just eat this like this? Uh, watch out for the bones. That looks good. Ooh, it's hot. So, you just take it. Ooh, it's really hot. I can't eat the skin? I think it's a little undercooked. It tastes good, but it's just a little mushy. Kind of seeds. Now, so you got one side? Trout. My first trout. I caught it, and we're eating it. Oh, look at that spine. Yeah, it's good. It's, uh... 
It sees them well and it's good. It just seems a little. Why'd you throw that away? I would eat. Yeah, it's a little mushy. Oh. Thought it was maybe a little underdone. I don't eat the skin. You can. All of it. Eat the whole thing. Oh, I love trout. That was good. The skin is a lot better. Good. That little trout was delicious. We gotta catch some more trout and eat them, baby. <laughs> That's it for the video. Tell them what to do, Shane. Well, you know, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Yeah, share the video. Check out the Twitch. Twitch TV slash Dragon Ball Junkie. Subscribe, comment, like what he said. Got it. Watch the videos over here and here. Peace. We out.